guess whose story, American woman. A few years down the road, you are named the band after yourself to make sure everybody knows yeah. you're in the band. Had to. Backman Turner Overdrive. Right. So you're in the studio. I don't know if it's Seattle or... Seattle K. Smith Studios. Okay. That's Owned by Danny Hart. K. Yep. And Danny Lester K. Smith Dance. and Hart now bought it in a Bad Animal Studio. Bad Animal Studio. Bought by Hart. So you're up there and other people are working Steve in Steve Miller's studios. in the next studio mm -hmm. and Wars down the hall doing their Why Can't We Be Friends and Steve Miller's doing Fly Like an Eagle. We're there doing uh, BTO2. And the song you had worked up was... Uh, Taking Care of Business. And a pizza guy comes. Taking Care of Business. And if the last song we did, I'm singing for the first time. Basically, our lead singer was Fred Turner. And there's a knock at the door, and there's a guy standing there with pizzas. Yeah. An army suit on, army hat, big frizzy beard, frizzy hair. And says, I brought you the pizzas. And says, it's not us, we're going home. He goes and delivers them down the hall. Comes back, knocks on the door again. I say, yes. He said, I've been listening to the song for a couple of hours outside the, ro the room. <laughs> And it sounds great, so like it sounds like it could use a piano. And I say, yeah, but I'd like to get little Richard or Elton John, they're not around. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, we're yeah. going home to sleep, we've been here 14 hours. And he said, I'm a keyboard player, will you give me a shot? Mm -hmm. And I go, listen man, we're so tired, and he's, please give me a shot. I, I don't deliver pizza until the end of the month when I can't pay my rent. So I say, okay, you got, I throw a mic and a piano. I say, okay, give me a little bit of Elton John, Dr. John, little Richard. So he does a potpourri, a mixture of piano styles, uh -huh. and then he thinks I'm going to listen to it and say, okay, I like the Dr. John or the Elton John, do that for the whole take. He finishes it, we're so tired, we say thanks a lot, he goes home, we go home, he delivers the pizza. The head of our label flies in the next day, his name is Charlie Fash, yeah. play me the album, I say to the engineer, don't play the piano track, we haven't even heard it back, he just did it and we left at 2 in the morning. We're now back at 10 the next morning. Halfway through the song, the engineer pushes up the fader and in comes the piano. And Charlie jumps out of his chair and he goes, that is amazing, that's just what I want. You guys are all guitar, bass, and drums. You and Frampton and ZZ Top and Aerosmith, you're all good. Having the piano will get you some of Elton John's real estate on radio, AM and FM, because uh -huh. Elton John was everywhere in 73, 74, 75. Yeah. Let me hear it again. We back the song up. Here's the whole version of Taking Care of Business. He goes, that's amazing, who's playing the piano? And I say, a pizza <laughs> delivery guy. And he says, no, seriously, Randy, who's playing piano? I said, seriously, Charlie, a guy brought pizza here. He said, you've got to find out who the guy is. He's got to be in the union. We've got to give him credit. We'll get sued. This song is a radio. This is a party song. Uh -huh. This will be a career song. So I go to the uh, Steve Miller, and I say, where'd you get pizza from the night before? He says, I have no idea, because they clean up the studio when you leave. There's no so leftover no, no bills or receipts. Yeah. So I get the yellow pages. I go to the girl in the front of the studio saying, you start at Antonio's. I'm going to start halfway through at Mario's phone every pizza place within two or three blocks of the studio yeah. and see if they have a delivery guy that looks like Fidel Castro. They had a big frizzy beard and an army suit on and a frizzy hair. Uh -huh. So I got lucky and I went the third or fourth call. The guy did come to that studio. His name was Norman Durkee. That's the piano you hear one take on Taking Care of Business. That was a good break for him. He became music director for Bette Midler on one of her American tours. And when I toured mm -hmm. with Ringo Starr's All-Star Band in 95, we ended the tour at the um, Greek Theater in L.A. Yes. And the rehearsal pianist there for the L.A. Philharmonic was Norman Durkee, the same guy. <laughs> so that's the pizza guy.